Okay, last week I mentioned how much of a mischievous son I have. Even though he's cute, he's a boy and he did this last week. You can't tell how um, our nice LED TV is now broken. Um, well, he did this. See his hammer? He just uh, was able to reach it and just give good nice whacks. You see that? And you think just a little plastic, a little toy hammer would not do such terrible damage that makes me want to cry uh, but no it did and i almost wonder to try oh look see look how hard he must have had to hit it look i just hit it a couple times and it's not doing how the heck did that boy my goodness i just tested it what what how the heck did this boy do this okay look how hard i had to hit it for anything to happen See, I mean, you think a little kid just hitting about that hard? No, apparently he's pretty strong. He'd have to just whack the crap out of the thing. Dang it. How the stink did that kid do that? Anyways, several, several hits. And we had some company over. And I uh, came down here thinking the movie was just over. And he said something cute, like broken. And I didn't really understand yet, and then I looked, and I screamed in my hands and walked away because I was just so flustered and frustrated that I just needed to get away from that, and I just, I really couldn't deal with it at the time. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, and, I, I, and as I've heard many other stories from people that boys are just hellions, and they're going to destroy your stuff. And so, yes, $350 TV killed. Uh, luckily, we were able to order another one from Amazon that came today. And this time, I'm smart. Except, I'll explain in a second why I wasn't smart before. And I'm going to mount it. See, I've already set up the mount earlier this week. Here's why I'm not smart. Here's why always follow your intuition. Those little things that just tell you something. Because for the last probably couple weeks, I've thought, I should mount the TV. Just a fleeting thought. Well, my son keeps touching it. He keeps getting it dirty. That's kind of all my thought was, too. It's just dirty, not damaging it. But I kept saying, I should mount it on the wall. I should mount it on the wall. I can't tell you how many times I thought to myself, I should mount it on the wall. And I didn't follow that, that feeling, that thought, the intuition. Whatever you want to call it. I just didn't follow it. And this happened. So, never going to do that again. I hope if I just, if it comes to mind and it comes to mind again, I'm going to do it because this sucked. Spend another $350 on a new TV. Luckily, we found the same one because it's a nice Roku TV and so it works. So, yeah, that's my job tonight is I'm going to actually get it set up so that we can um, not use that little 7 inch DVD player that we have been using for three days. So, um, I'll show you that and yeah. Fun stuff. It sucks, but kids, what do you do? Okay, I, I couldn't help but uh, take a little frustration with this old TV. I mean, I might as well make worth of the TV and let out some good old-fashioned frustrations. So, um, yeah, you saw it before and how it was just flickering with my son's little plastic hammer well it's a rubber mallet that i just uh had a good old time as you can see really damaged it take a nice good whack pretty much anything now breaking glass it feels good Woohoo! it feels good and glass is getting everywhere so i probably should stop but man you know <laughs> that is actually super Fun. Oh man, is it worth the money? No, 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 definitely not worth the money having to replace it. But man, does it? I just feel almost a hundred percent better. Wait, hold on. Oh, 200 percent better. 300 percent. 400 percent better. 
Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Oh yeah, I love it. Woohoo, yeah. All right. As you can see, oh, come, 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 look, come. Look. look how destroyed this thing is. Oh, you can see the, the light coming through. I don't know how stupid it is having the, uh, it plugged in and doing this, but it is a rubber mallet. Um, I mean, worst case, I would electrocute myself and die. Whatever. Who cares? Um, but yeah, check out how cool it looks with this light coming through that glass. Awesome. <laughs> it really looks so cool. Well, all right. One last whack. This top corner right there. See? Look, it's just asking to be whacked. Whoa. Wow. You ever wonder what's inside? <laughs> Check that out. Yep. Bunch of uh, LED light. And then there's the screen, which, see, I'd imagine this is the thin screen here is actually what was broken first, right? By the the rubber, or sorry, the uh, plastic hammer from my son. That's what made the image go all crazy. And then, then I just broke the crap out of it. So yeah, super fun. Okay, after about an hour and a half, finally got all the things that I needed to get done to finally mount this TV. It's working fine, and it's exactly the same model, so you shouldn't have any trouble using it. What took me so long was there were some holes on the wall that I needed to fill with some putty, but there was also this um, molding to hide the wires, to hide the, the cords to the TV that I also installed to make it look, look nice. And so yeah, it looks all good, and hopefully it is out of reach from my son. See, it's plenty. It's, it's all the way up there. I'm sure he'll try to climb on that table, but anyways, it's hopefully protected. All right, well, this is uh, all I got this time, so we'll see you next time, you two.